Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at the Mix Array Java program that appeared in ISC Computer Science 2025 specimen paper. According to the question, a class Mix Array contains an array of integer elements along with its capacity more than or equal to 3. Using the following description, form a new array of integers which will contain only the first three elements of the two different arrays, one after another. Let's try to understand this with an example. So over here we have two arrays. The first array has five elements and the second array has four elements. So in the resultant array, we are bringing the first three elements from both the arrays. So 78, 90 and 100 are copied. And then 10, 67 and 200 are copied. And this forms our resultant array. Here are the details of the members of the class. Class name is mix array. We have an array to store the integers. We have the capacity of the array. We have a parameterized constructor to initialize the capacity. The input method to accept elements into the array. The mix method that picks elements from two arrays and these two arrays are present in two different objects P and Q and then forms the resultant object or the resultant array and this array is carried by the resultant object and that object is being returned. That's why we have the return type of this method as mix array. And then finally we have the display method to display the array. We also need to define the main function to create objects and call all the functions accordingly to enable the task. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I have created a file mixarray.java. So firstly, we import the scanner class. Then we create the class mixarray. And we declare the data members. So we have int array and int capacity. Then we have a parameterized constructor. So public mix array. And we are taking the parameter mm. And this variable will be used to initialize the capacity. So capacity equals mm. And now we can create the array object using the capacity. Next, we have the input function. So for that, we will require scanner object. So scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. Now, we run a loop to input elements into our array. So for i equals 0 less than the capacity i plus plus. So arr i equals integer dot percent in dot next line. The input function is over. Now we can create the mix method and we'll create this method as static. Public static mix array mix mix array p comma mix array q. Why are we making it static? Because we want to execute this method without the help of any object. That's why we are making it static. Now inside this method, we create a temporary object. Let's say mix array temp equals new mix array. And we know the size of the resultant array. The resultant array size should be six because it is picking first three elements from the first array and first three elements from the second array. So the size should be six. So we write six here. 
Next, we also keep an index for the resultant array. And now we copy the elements from both the arrays into this resultant array. So for i equals 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. So the resultant array is present in this temporary object temp. So I will write temp dot arr index plus plus equals and we are firstly picking from p so p dot arr ith index so post increment here because firstly we want to start from zero and then for the next insertion the index will change to one and so on similarly we can do the same for the second object also so again we write for i equals 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. And once again, the temp object dot arr index plus plus equals q dot arr i. And once we have finished copying elements from both the arrays, we are ready to return the object so we write return temp, this temporary object. And our mix method is also complete. Now we only have to create the display method and the main method. So let's carry on with the display method. So public void display. And here again we run a loop to display all the elements. So i equals 0, i less than uh, capacity i plus plus we want to print horizontally so we write system dot out dot print instead of print ln and we write arr i plus a blank space once we finish printing horizontally we change the line using an empty print ln and our display function is also complete now we only have to create the main method so in main method, we are going to firstly ask for the capacity of both the arrays. So here also we will require the scanner object. And we are going to ask capacity of array 1. So I'm taking it in C1. And same can be done for the second array also. So system dot out dot print capacity of array two. So int c two equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Now the capacity cannot be uh, below 3. So we have to check that. So we can write uh, if c1 is less than 3 or c2 is less than 3, then in this case we need to display an error message. So system.out.println capacity must be at least 3. And then we can call the return keyword. So we are calling the return keyword in the main method and as a result the program will uh, terminate because we are exiting from main. Otherwise we are ready to create objects so we write mix array uh, let's say obj1 equals new mix array and we pass the capacity 1 then mix array obj2 equals new mix array c2 and the third object or you can say the third reference variable will call the mix method and it will pass uh, obj1 and obj2 but before that 
We also need to input elements into both the arrays. That we haven't done. We have only created the array. The arrays are empty right now. You can say they are only initialized with zeros. So for that, we need to call the input method for both the objects. So I can write a message here, system.out.print ln enter array one elements. And I can call the input method for the first object. Now, same way I can also write system.out.print ln uh, for the second object. So enter array two elements and then obj2 dot input method will be called. And now we are good to call the mix method. Uh, after calling the mix method, we can now display all the three arrays. So we can write system dot out dot print array one elements, or we can just write array one and we call obj one dot display. Then system dot out dot print array two. So obj two dot display and system dot out dot print resultant array so obj3 dot display so that's all we have completed writing our program and now we can check the output so let's execute java space mix array dot java so capacity of array one let's say five capacity of array two four so enter array one element so i'm entering 78 90 100 45 67 enter array two elements so 10 67 then we have 200 and then we have 90. So you can see in the resultant array, the first three elements are there from both the arrays. So that's all. I hope you have understood how to solve this program. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class. If you still have any questions, you can get in touch through comments. Thanks for watching.